When you look around, you will observe different animals with different structures and forms. As over a million species of animals have been described till now, the need for classification becomes all the more important. The classification also helps in assigning a systematic position to newly described species. 4.1 Basis of classification In spite of differences in structure and form of different animals, there are fundamental features common to various individuals in relation to the arrangement of cells, body symmetry, nature of chylome, patterns of digestive, circulatory, or reproductive systems. These features are used as the basis of animal classification and some of them are discussed here. 4.1.1 Levels of organization Though all members of animalia are multicellular, all of them do not exhibit the same pattern of organization of cells. For example, in sponges, the cells are arranged as loose cell aggregates, i.e., they exhibit cellular level of organization. Some division of labor, activities, occur among the cells. In coelenterates, the arrangement of cells is more complex. Here the cells performing the same function are arranged into tissues, hence is called tissue level of organization. A still higher level of organization, i.e., organ level is exhibited by members of platyhelminthes and other higher phyla where tissues are grouped together to form organs, each specialized for a particular function. In animals like anlids, arthropods, mollusks, Echinoderms and chordates, organs have associated to form functional systems, each system concerned with a specific physiological function. This pattern is called organ system level of organization. Organ systems in different groups of animals exhibit various patterns of complexities. For example, the digestive system in platyhelminthes has only a single opening to the outside of the body that serves as both mouth and anus, and is hence called incomplete. A complete digestive system has two openings, mouth and anus. Similarly, the circulatory system may be of two types, I, open type in which the blood is pumped out of the heart and the cells and tissues are directly bathed in it and, two, closed type in which the blood is circulated through a series of vessels of varying diameters, arteries, veins and capillaries. 4.1.2 Symmetry Animals can be categorized on the basis of their symmetry. Sponges are mostly asymmetrical, i.e., any plane that passes through the center does not divide them into equal halves. When any plane passing through the central axis of the body divides the organism into two identical halves, it is called radial symmetry. Coelenterates, tenophores, and echinoderms have this kind of body plan, figure 4.1a. Animals like anlids, arthropods, etc., where the body can be divided into identical left and right halves in only one plane, exhibit bilateral symmetry, figure 4.1b. 4.1.3 Diploblastic and triploblastic organization Animals in which the cells are arranged in two embryonic layers, an external ectoderm and an internal endoderm, are called diploblastic animals, e.g., coelenterates. An undifferentiated layer, mesoglea, is present in between the ectoderm and the endoderm. Four point one point four chylome presence or absence. Animals in which the cells are arranged in two embryonic layers. Forty eight biology four point one point four chylome presence or absence of a cavity between the body wall and the gut wall is very important in classification. The body cavity which is lined by mesoderm is called chylome. Animals possessing chylome are called psyllomates, e.g., anlids, mollusks, arthropods, echinoderms, hemichordates, and chordates, figure 4.3a. In some animals, the body cavity is not lined by mesoderm, instead, the mesoderm is present as scattered pouches in between the ectoderm and endoderm. Such a body cavity is called pseudocellum and the animals possessing them are called pseudocellumates, e.g., aschelminthes, figure 4.3b. The animals in which the body cavity is absent are called achylomates, e.g., platyhelminthes, figure 4.3c. Figure 4.3 Diagrammatic sectional view of a. psyllomate, b. pseudocellumate, c. 
Achylomate those animals in which the developing embryo has a third germinal layer, mesoderm, in between the ectoderm and endoderm, are called triploblastic animals, platyhelminthes to chordates, figure 4.2b. 4.1.5 Segmentation in some animals, the body is externally and internally divided into segments with a serial repetition of at least some organs. For example, in earthworm, the body shows this pattern called metameric segmentation and the phenomenon is known as metamerism. 4.1.6 Notochord Notochord is a mesodermally derived rod-like structure formed on the dorsal side during embryonic development in some animals. Animals with notochord are called chordates and those animals which do not form this structure are called non-chordates, e.g., porifera to echinoderms. 4.2 Classification of animals The broad classification of animalia based on common fundamental features as mentioned in the preceding sections is given in figure 4.4. The important characteristic features of the different phyla are described. 4.2.1 Phylum, Porifera members of this phylum are commonly known as sponges. They are generally marine and mostly asymmetrical animals, figure 4.5. These are primitive multicellular animals and have cellular level of organization. Sponges have a water transport or canal system. Water enters through minute pores, ostia, in the body wall into a central cavity, spongocele, from where it goes out through the osculum. This pathway of water transport is helpful in food gathering, respiratory exchange, and removal of waste. Coanocytes or collar cells line the spongocele and the canals. Digestion is intracellular. The body is supported by a skeleton made up of spicules or spongin fibers. Sexes are not separate, hermaphrodite, i.e., Eggs and sperms are produced by the same individual. Sponges reproduce asexually by fragmentation and sexually by formation of gametes. Fertilization is internal and development is indirect having a larval stage which is morphologically distinct from the adult. Figure 4.6 Examples of Coelenterata indicating outline of their 50 biology nodoblasts or nodocytes 50 biology nodoblasts or nodocytes which contain the stinging 50 biology nodoblasts Sycon, Sypha, Spongilla, Freshwater Sponge, and Eospongia, Bath Sponge 4.2.2 Phylum, Coelenterata, Nadaria, they are aquatic, mostly marine, sessile, or free-swimming radially symmetrical animals, figure 4.6. The name Nadaria is derived from the 2018-19. Nodoblasts or nodocytes, which contain the stinging capsules or nematocysts, present on the tentacles and the body. Nodoblasts are used for anchorage, defense, and for the capture of prey, figure 4.7. Nadarians exhibit tissue level of organization and are diploblastic. They have a central gastrovascular cavity with a single opening, mouth on hypostome. Digestion is extracellular and intracellular. Some of the nadarians, e.g., corals have a skeleton composed of calcium carbonate. Nadarians exhibit two basic body forms called polyp and medusa, figure 4.6. The former is a sessile and cylindrical form like hydra, atomsia, etc. whereas, the latter is umbrella-shaped and free-swimming like aurelia or jellyfish. Those nadarians which exist in both forms exhibit alternation of generation, metagenesis, i.e., polyps produce medusae asexually and medusae form the polyps sexually, e.g., obelia. Examples, physical alia, Portuguese men of war, atomsia, Sea anemone, Penatula, Sea pen, Gorgonia, Sea fan, and Mindina, brain coral. Figure 4. Four point two point three phylum, Tenophora tenophores, commonly known as sea walnuts or comb jellies, are exclusively marine, radially symmetrical, diploblastic organisms with tissue level of organization. 
the body bears eight external rows of ciliated comb plates, which help in locomotion, figure 4.8. Digestion is both extracellular and intracellular. Bioluminescence, the property of a living organism to emit light, is well marked in tenophores. Sexes are not separate. Reproduction takes place only by sexual means. Fertilization is external with indirect development. Examples, Pleurobrachia and Teneplana. 4.2.4 Phylum, Platyhelminthes They have dorsoventrally flattened body, hence are called flatworms, figure 4.9. These are mostly endoparasites found in animals including human beings. Flatworms are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, and achylomate animals with organ level of organization. Hooks and suckers are present in the parasitic forms. Some of them absorb nutrients from the host directly through their body surface. Specialized cells called flame cells help in osmoregulation and excretion. Sexes are not separate. Fertilization is internal and development is through many larval stages. Some members like planaria possess high regeneration capacity. Examples, tenia, tapeworm, facila, liver fluke. A, B, figure 4.9 examples of platyhelminthes, A, tapeworm, B, liver fluke 2000. 4.2.5 phylum, aschelminthes The body of the aschelminthes is circular in cross-section, hence, the name roundworms, figure 4.10. They may be free-living, aquatic and terrestrial or parasitic in plants and animals. Roundworms have organ system level of body organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, and pseudocelomate animals. Alimentary canal is complete with a well-developed muscular pharynx. An excretory tube removes body wastes from the body cavity through the excretory pore. Sexes are separate, dioecious, i.e., males and females are distinct. Often females are longer than males. Fertilization is internal and development may be direct, the young ones resemble the adult, or indirect. Examples, Ascaris, Roundworm, Watcheraria, Filaria worm, Ancelostoma, Hookworm. 4.2.6 Phylum, Anlita They may be aquatic, marine and freshwater, or terrestrial, free-living, and sometimes parasitic. They exhibit organ system level of body organization and bilateral symmetry. They are triploblastic, metamerically segmented and silimate animals. Their body surface is distinctly marked out into segments or metamers and, hence, the phylum name Anlita, Latin, annulus, little ring, figure 4.11. They possess longitudinal and circular muscles which help in locomotion. Aquatic anlids like Nereus possess lateral appendages, parapodia, which help in swimming. A closed circulatory system is present. Nephridia, sing nephridium, help in osmoregulation and excretion. Neural system consists of paired ganglia, sing ganglion, connected by lateral nerves to a double ventral nerve cord. Nereus, an aquatic form, is dioecious, but earthworms and leeches are monoecious. Reproduction is sexual. Examples, Nereus, Ferretima, Earthworm, and Hirudinaria, Blood-Sucking Leech. Four point two point seven Phylum, Arthropoda This is the largest phylum of Animalia which includes insects. Over two-thirds of all named species on Earth are arthropods, figure 4.12. They have organ system level of organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, segmented and silimate animals. The body of arthropods is covered by chitinous exoskeleton. The body consists of head, thorax, and abdomen. They have jointed appendages, arthros joint, pod appendages. Respiratory organs are gills, book gills, book lungs, or tracheal system. Circulatory system is of open type. Sensory organs like antennae, eyes, compound and simple, statusists or balancing organs are present. Excretion takes place through malpighian tubules. 
they are mostly dioecious. Fertilization is usually internal. They are mostly oviparous. Development may be direct or indirect. Examples, economically important insects, apis, honeybee, bombyx, silkworm, laxifer, lac insect, vectors, anopheles, culex, and aedes, mosquitoes, gregarious pest, locusta, locust, living fossil, limulus, king crab. 4.2.8 Phylum, Mollusca This is the second largest animal phylum, figure 4.13. Mollusks are terrestrial or aquatic, marine or freshwater, having an organ system level of organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, and silimate animals. Body is covered by a calcareous shell and is unsegmented with a distinct head, muscular foot, and visceral hump. A soft and spongy layer of skin forms a mantle over the visceral hump. The space between the hump and the mantle is called the mantle cavity in which feather-like gills are present. They have respiratory and excretory functions. The anterior head region has sensory tentacles. The mouth contains a file-like rasping organ for feeding, called radula. They are usually dioecious and oviparous with indirect development. Examples, pila, apple snail, Pinctida, pearl oyster, sepia, cuttlefish, liligo, squid, octopus, devilfish, aplysia, sea dentalium, tusk shell, and ketopleura, chitin. 4.2.9 Phylum, Echinodermata These animals have an endoskeleton of calcareous ossicles and, hence, the name Echinodermata, spiny bodied, figure 4.14. All are marine with organ system level of organization. The adult echinoderms are radially symmetrical but larvae are bilaterally symmetrical. They are triploblastic and silimate animals. Digestive system is complete with mouth on the lower, ventral, side and anus on the upper, dorsal, side. The most distinctive feature of echinoderms is the presence of water vascular system which helps in locomotion, capture and transport of food and respiration. An excretory system is absent. Sexes are separate. Reproduction is sexual. Fertilization is usually external. Development is indirect with free swimming larvae. Examples Asterias, starfish, echinus, sea urchin, antidon, sea lily, cucumeria, sea cucumber, and ophiura, brittle star. April 2nd, 10 phylum. Hemichordata Hemichordata was earlier considered as a subphylum under phylum Chaudata. But now it is placed as a separate phylum under Nonchordata. Hemichordata have a rudimentary structure in the collar region called stomochord, a structure similar to notochord. This phylum consists of a small group of worm-like marine animals with organ system level of organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, and silimate animals. The body is cylindrical and is composed of an anterior proboscis, a collar, and a long trunk, figure 4.15. Circulatory system is of open type. Respiration takes place through gills. Excretory organ is proboscis gland. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is external. Development is indirect. Examples, balanoglossus and sacoglossus. April 2nd, 11 phylum, Chaudata animals belonging to phylum Chaudata are fundamentally characterized by the presence of a notochord, a dorsal figure, hollow nerve cord and paired pharyngeal gill slits, figure 4.16. These are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, silimate with organ system level of organization. They possess a post-anal tail and a closed circulatory system. Table 4.1 presents a comparison of salient features of chordates and nonchordates. Phylum Chaudata is divided into three subphyla, Uricordata or Tunicata, Cephalochordata, and Vertebrata. Subphyla Uricordata and Cephalochordata are often referred to as protochordates, figure 4.17, and are exclusively marine. In Uricordata, notochord is present only in larval tail, 
while in cephalochordata, it extends from head to tail region and is persistent throughout their life. Examples, Uricordata, Acidia, Salpa, Doliolum, Cephalochordata, Branchiostoma, Amphioxus or Lancelet. The members of subphylum vertebrata possess notochord during the embryonic period. The notochord is replaced by a cartilaginous or bony vertebral column in the adult. Thus all vertebrates are chordates but all chordates are not vertebrates. Besides the basic chordate characters, vertebrates have a ventral muscular heart with two, three, or four chambers, kidneys for excretion and osmoregulation and paired appendages which may be fins or limbs. Nerve cord notochord postanal part gill slits figure 4.16 jaw data characteristics figure 4.17 acidia table 4.1 comparison of chordates and non-chordates s. No. Chordates non-chordates 1. Notochord present. Notochord absent. 2. Central nervous system is dorsal, central nervous system is ventral, solid hollow and single. And double. 3. Pharynx perforated by gill slits. Gill slits are absent. 4. Heart is ventral. Heart is dorsal, if present. 5. A postanal part, tail, is present. Postanal tail is absent. 2018. Figure 4.18 A jawless vertebrate. Petromas and figure 4.19 example of cartilaginous fishes, A. Scoliodon, B. Pristis, A, B, 4.2.11.1 class, Cyclostomata All living members of the class Cyclostomata are ectoparasites on some fishes. They have an elongated body bearing 6 to 15 pairs of gill slits for respiration. Cyclostomes have a sucking and circular mouth without jaws, Fig 4.18. Their body is devoid of scales and paired fins. Cranium and vertebral column are cartilaginous. Circulation is of closed type. Cyclostomes are marine but migrate for spawning to fresh water. After spawning, within a few days, they die. Their larvae, after metamorphosis, return to the ocean. Examples, Petromizin, Lamprey, and Myxine, Hagfish. 4.2.11.2 Class, Chondrichthyes They are marine animals with streamlined body and have cartilaginous endoskeleton, figure 4.19. Mouth is located ventrally. Notochord is persistent throughout life. Gill slits are separate and without operculum, gill cover. The skin is tough, containing minute placoid scales. Teeth are modified placoid scales which are backwardly directed. Their jaws are very powerful. These animals are predaceous. Due to the absence of air bladder, they have to swim constantly to avoid sinking. Heart is two-chambered, one auricle and one ventricle. Some of them have electric organs, e.g., torpedo, and some possess poison sting, e.g., trigone. They are cold-blooded, poikilothermous, animals, i.e., they lack the capacity to regulate their body temperature. Sexes are separate. In males pelvic fins bear claspers. They have internal fertilization and many of them are viviparous. Examples, scoliodon, dogfish, pristis, sawfish, carcharodon, great white shark, trigone, stingray. 4.2.11.3 class, Ostyctyes it includes both marine and freshwater fishes with bony endoskeleton. Their body is streamlined. Mouth is mostly terminal, figure 4.20. They have four pairs of gills which are covered by an operculum on each side. Skin is covered with cycloid slash tenoid scales. Air bladder is present which regulates buoyancy. Heart is two chambered, one auricle and one ventricle. They are cold-blooded animals. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is usually external. They are mostly oviparous and development is direct. Examples, marine, exocetus, flying fish, hippocampus, seahorse, freshwater, labio, rohu, catla, catla, clarias, magur, aquarium, beta, 
fighting fish, terraphilum, angelfish. 4.2.11.4 class, amphibia as the name indicates, gr, amphi, dual, bios, life, amphibians can live in aquatic as well as terrestrial habitats, figure 4.21. Most of them have two pairs of limbs. Body is divisible into head and trunk. Tail may be present in some. The amphibian skin is moist, without scales. The eyes have eyelids. A tympanum represents the ear. Alimentary canal, urinary and reproductive tracts open into a common chamber called cloaca which opens to the exterior. Respiration is by gills, lungs, and through skin. The heart is three-chambered, two auricles and one ventricle. These are cold-blooded animals. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is external. They are oviparous and development is indirect. Examples, bufo, toad, rana, frog, hyla, tree frog, salamandra, salamander, ichthyophys, limbless amphibia. Four point two point one one point five class. Reptilia The class name refers to their creeping or crawling mode of locomotion, Latin, repera, or reptum, to creep or crawl. They are mostly terrestrial animals and their body is covered by dry and cornified skin, epidermal scales, or scutes, fig 4.22. They do not have external ear openings. Tympanum represents ear. Limbs, when present, are two pairs. Heart is usually three-chambered, but four-chambered in crocodiles. Reptiles are poikilotherms. Snakes and lizards shed their scales as skin cast. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is internal. They are oviparous and development is direct. Examples, kelone, turtle, testudo, tortoise, chameleon, tree lizard, calotes, garden lizard, crocodilus, crocodile, alligator, Alligator. Hemidactylus, wall lizard, poisonous snakes, naja, cobra, bangarus, crite, vipera, viper. 4.2.11.6 class, aves. The characteristic features of aves, birds, are the presence of feathers and most of them can fly except flightless birds, e.g., ostrich. They possess beak, figure 4.23. The forelimbs are modified into wings. The hind limbs generally have scales and are modified for walking, swimming or clasping the tree branches. Skin is dry without glands except the oil gland at the base of the tail. Endoskeleton is fully ossified, bony, and the long bones are hollow with air cavities, pneumatic. The digestive tract of birds has additional chambers, the crop, and gizzard. Heart is completely four-chambered. They are warm-blooded, homoeothermous, animals, i.e., they are able to maintain a constant body temperature. Respiration is by figure. Lungs. Air sacs connected to lungs supplement respiration. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is internal. They are oviparous and development is direct. Examples, corvus. Crow, Columba, Pigeon, Cidicula, Parrot, Struthio, Ostrich, Pavo, Peacock, Aptenidites, Penguin, Neophron, Vulture. 4.2.11.7 Class, Mammalia They are found in a variety of habitats, polar ice caps, deserts, mountains, forests, grasslands and dark caves. Some of them have adapted to fly or live in water. The most unique mammalian characteristic is the presence of milk-producing glands, mammary glands, by which the young ones are nourished. They have two pairs of limbs, adapted for walking, running, climbing, burrowing, swimming or flying, figure 4.24. The skin of mammals is unique in possessing hair. External ears or pinny are present. Different types of teeth are present in the jaw. Heart is four-chambered. They are homoeothermous. Respiration is by lungs. 
Sexes are separate and fertilization is internal. They are viviparous with few exceptions and development is direct. Examples, oviparous ornithorhynchus, platypus, viviparous macropus, kangaroo, pteropus, flying fox, camelus, camel, macaca, monkey, ratus, rat, canis, dog, felis, cat, elephas, elephant, equus, horse, delphinus, common dolphin, balanoptera, blue whale, panthera tigris, tiger, panthera leo, lion. The salient distinguishing features of all phyla under animal kingdom is comprehensively given in the table 4.2. Level of organization cellular tissue tissue organ and organ system 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 Summary the basic fundamental features such as level of organization symmetry cell organization chylome segmentation notochord etc have enabled us to broadly classify the animal kingdom Besides the fundamental features, there are many other distinctive characters which are specific for each phyla or class. Porifera includes multicellular animals which exhibit cellular level of organization and have characteristic flagellated coanocytes. The coelenterates have tentacles and bear nodoblasts. They are mostly aquatic, sessile or free-floating. The tenophores are marine animals with comb plates. The platyhelminths have flat body and exhibit bilateral symmetry. The parasitic forms show distinct suckers and hooks. Aschelminthes are pseudocelomates and include parasitic as well as non-parasitic roundworms. Anlids are metamerically segmented animals with a true chylome. The arthropods are the most abundant group of animals characterized by the presence of jointed appendages. The mollusks have a soft body surrounded by an external calcareous shell. The body is covered with external skeleton made of chitin. The echinoderms possess a spiny skin. Their most distinctive feature is the presence of water vascular system. The hemichordates are a small group of worm-like marine animals. They have a cylindrical body with proboscis, collar, and trunk. Phylum chaudata includes animals which possess a notochord either throughout or during early embryonic life. Other common features observed in the chordates are the dorsal, hollow nerve cord and paired pharyngeal gill slits. Some of the vertebrates do not possess jaws, agnatha, whereas most of them possess jaws, nathostomata. Agnatha is represented by the class, cyclostomata. They are the most primitive chordates and are ectoparasites on fishes. Nathostomata has two superclasses, Pisces and Tetrapoda. Classes chondrichthyes and osteichthyes bear fins for locomotion and are grouped under Pisces. The chondrichthyes are fishes with cartilaginous endoskeleton and are marine. Classes amphibia, reptilia, aves, and mammalia have two pairs of limbs and are thus grouped under tetrapoda. The amphibians have adapted to live both on land and water. Reptiles are characterized by the presence of dry and cornified skin. Limbs are absent in snakes. Fishes, amphibians, and reptiles are poikilothermous, cold-blooded. Aves are warm-blooded animals with feathers on their bodies and four limbs modified into wings for flying. Hind limbs are adapted for walking, swimming, perching or clasping. The unique features of mammals are the presence of mammary glands and hairs on the skin. They commonly exhibit viviparity. 2000 Exercises 1 what are the difficulties that you would face in classification of animals, if common fundamental features are not taken into account? 2. If you are given a specimen, what are the steps that you would follow to classify it? 3. How useful is the study of the nature of body cavity and chylome in the classification of animals? 4. Distinguish between intracellular and extracellular digestion? 5. What is the difference between direct and indirect development? 6. What are the peculiar features that you find in parasitic platyhelminthes? 7. What are the reasons that you can think of for the arthropods to constitute the largest group of the animal kingdom? 8. Water vascular system is the characteristic of which group of the following? A. Porifera, B. Tenophora, C. 
Echinodermata, D, Chaudate 9. All vertebrates are chordates but all chordates are not vertebrates. Justify the statement. 10. How important is the presence of air bladder in Pisces? 11. What are the modifications that are observed in birds that help them fly? 12. Could the number of eggs or young ones produced by an oviparous and viviparous mother be equal? Why? 13. Segmentation in the body is first observed in which of the following? A. Platyhelminthes, B. Aschelminthes, C. Anlida, D. Arthropoda 14. Match the following, A. Operculum, I. Tenophora, B. Parapodia, 2. Mollusca, C. Scales, 3. Porifera, D. Comb plates, 4. Reptilia, E. Radula, V. Anlida, F. Hairs, 6. Cyclostomata and chondrichthyes, G. Coanocytes, 7. Mammalia, H. Gill slits, 8. Ostichthyes, 15. Prepare a list of some animals that are found parasitic on human beings. 2018-19